In this video, we'll need to determine a scale factor using a given volume. So we've got an original rectangular prism that had a volume of 24 centimeters cubed. It says that prism has been enlarged and has a new volume of 648 centimeters cubed. And we want to know what scale factor was applied to the original prism. Well, to start, we know that the volume of a rectangle is given by length times width times height. So what I know to start is that the original volume was 24 centimeters cubed. My new volume, which I'll put in red, so my second volume was 648 centimeters cubed. So the way I want to start this question is to determine how much larger is a new area or new volume versus the old volume. So to do that, I'm going to divide them. So I'll take 648 and divide it by 24. That gives me a number of 27. Now how does this 27 relate to the scale factor? Well, the scale factor was applied linearly to L, W, and h, meaning that the same number n was multiplied into all three. So what happens to the volume formula is I have that the volume is equal to n times n times n, which is n cubed, multiplied by the length, by the width, by the height. Now I know that this should give me 27 times my original volume and get me 648. Well, I want to find out what this number and how it relates is, or how it relates to n cubed. So if I set n cubed equal to 27, mm -hmm. then the way I would find n would be to take the cube root, and what I'll find that my scale factor applied here was 3. 